Hello and welcome to Hixie Studio. In this video, I am going to show you how to make this Father's Day card. Um, I have used some dies from Karen Berniston. I have got the Happy Father's Day sentiment die, which is one, number 1164, and I have got number 1153, the Tool Charms. Um, now, these are the, the Tool Charms. They're called Charms because they have these little bits that you can hang them from. But um, you don't need to, to use those. We can cut those off and that's what we're going to do in this particular um, uh, project. So really simple. I've gone for um, very monochromatic. I have used glitter card, but it's not an in-your-face glitter card. It's more, I felt it was more metallic, um, a metallic effect, brushed metal, if you like. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I just it didn't, it wasn't like one of those sort of super glitzy, glittery cards and I thought it would go just right. Now I have um this is a uh six by not quite six it's one of those cut out of a piece of A4 um and I have used nesting square dies to make these two parts for the border. So I've used four different dies graduating down the biggest and the smallest to cut the outer one and then the two middle ones for that inner border. And so we're just going to stick those on to get our card started. Okay, so then once we've, we've done this, then we're going to um, cut out with some of the dies. I'll show you how it all works. Let's just get that down, make sure I've got it open the right way. And... Yeah. Now you could do this in any any colours, it doesn't have to be monochromatic, it could be really bright and cheerful, um, but the principle is the same. There we go, so we'll put that to the side to dry. Now, let's look at the Father's Day dye first. So it comes in two parts you have the um the actual sentiment itself and then you have a a die that cuts out the mat so here i've done i've used cut this out twice uh with two different um cards and then i've cut this in the glitter so this one is going in out of this one We'll do this first and then I'll, I'll show you the, the tools in a moment. We'll, we'll cut them separately. And this one I want for this. Don't need all of that. So we'll just uh, put that to the side. And then, oh, no, make sure I've got it on the card, otherwise I'm going to cut off the bottom of the Y there. You don't want to do that, do we? Right, so I have. Oh, Right, we have this. I make sure that's not going to move by taping it to the plate. I'll run that through. Okay, and then once we've done that, then that together and put that in the middle of our card. So there is the mat and there is our happy father's day over there little tape and let's put that back on there don't want to lose it okay all right so let's get my brush and that's pretty much going out the diamonds without me doing anything else. There we go. Now there is a little star that comes out of there, so it might be something you might want to keep as an embellishment. I haven't used it on this particular card, but uh, you know it's there and you can. I've got all the bits out and put that away. Okay. So we're going to stick 
the sentiment. I'm going to stick the darker one on first. And we're not going to stick it right in the middle. We're just going to give it slightly up so that we can uh, drop the next one down. Grab the um, fine glue. And just going to put that all over the back of sentiment. And then we'll go on. Sometimes things don't like sticking to a uh, glittery card. This this card the glitter is totally encapsulated, so uh, this glue is absolutely fine. So, um, slightly up that well. So, and then same with this, we're going to put glue. All over the back of this one and then layer that onto the card. As well. And then I'll we'll get onto the tools. Have a look on our um channel because I have um Another card using these two dies. Um, but I uh, made a toolbox for the tools to sit in for that one. So uh, if this one isn't quite what you're looking for, then have a look and check that one out. Because that might be more up your street. Let's just get this on here. Maybe I'm not. Oh, this wants to move to. There we go. Just gonna, oh, I've got a bit of paper here. I'm going to uh, push that down. Right, so, so there is our sentiment, and we can put that in the middle of our card there. We'll get some blue and like seal. And so then we will. Like that. Right, we'll put that to one side while it's drying. We can sort out the tools. Put the pins back in with glue. Okay, okay right. So, um, for the tools, you get the hammer and the screwdriver, the saw, and the spanner. Now, the way I've cut them out, um, I I've cut them out from um, silver mirror card. If you want the handles, now obviously on the spanner you don't need to, to cut anything else out, it just stands as it is. For the saw, there is a separate die to cut the, a different coloured handle. For the screwdriver and the um, hammer, you need to cut them twice. So you'll need to cut them once out of the, the mirror card and once out of whatever it is you want the handle from. So. I have already done some. I'm going to cut them out as well just to show you, but um, might give you a bit more of an idea of what I mean. So I have four and um, a screwdriver and a hammer already made, and I'm going to cut off these. Like I said, these they're called charms, and they so they have those little bits that you could hang them as charms so I don't want them as charms so I'm just chopping those little bits off because we don't need them okay so and then I should have a spanner as well so there's my spanner okay so um in preparation for the because uh, I've got two of each on this card I've already cut one of the um handles for the saw. I've cut a whole screwdriver and the whole 
hammer so that it, I've got them for the handles. So we're just going to put these on a piece of mirror card and we will cut them out. Now you don't need too much pressure. Um, I'm just using an extra shim card um, rather than using my magnetic one. Uh, and that's enough to give a little bit of an emboss because there, are, there is uh, emboss detail on um, parts of these, on like on the handles. Uh, so you, if, if it doesn't come through when you cut, then you can always run it through um, as an emboss. Let's just, oh yeah, everything's falling out. So those are okay. So. There's the screwdriver and we're just falling out. There's the spanner and there's nothing else I need to do on the spanner. You can see here the sorry the embossed detail on that and then I have another hammer. Right, let's just take the tape off and put the uh the dies back on my magnetic sheet so I do not lose them. Uh, And that like so. Okay, right. So the spanner is as it is. I need to cut off the um, little hangers from these ones because I don't want them. And this one. And then I want the handle for the hammer and the handle for the screwdriver and then there's the handle for the stalk. Oops, a little bit of paper. You can see that that's not stuck down very well. So we'll just give that a little bit of a, a help to stick down there. Okay, and I have a half. Right, let's get a bit of glue and get glue on here. And Glue on here. And on here. Okay. And put these in here. Like that. Like that, and oh, wrong, take the right way around, and that one. So now have all of the tools that we need. Okay, now I can see, I don't know if you can on here, I must have used a different view because it's come through on my um, uh, mirror card. So just be careful, um, most of it. It will recede into the background um, because of the things on the top of it. Um, but uh, yeah, just you see here, right, it, nothing came through. So I must have uh, had a different glue in my hand on that particular uh, time. Uh, not too, ooh, that one's not stuck yet. That's the one I must have just done. Not quite uh, ready. So. I'm just, just randomly deciding where I'm going to put these. I think it's on, on that mirror card as well. There we go. Okay, let's use this glue. So 
there. Not the same as I did on the other card, but that's okay. It is there's no law to say where you need to put things. No. I might actually put hmm. actually put that one below. I can't put that one now. Oh, I'm all of a dither now. I'm That was probably why I just know anyway, so <laughs> I don't know why I just faffed like that. So I did. I faffed. Mm. That one's there. I've got two more that one's not down yet either. So there's one or there. And the other one. Now I have been a little bit not careful with my glue. The trouble with mirror card and glue is it shows everything. But uh Shall not prevaricate too much. So there we have our. I'm going to bring this one back in because um that glue is annoying me. So I need to work out which of my glues I used on this one rather than on this one. It, it is. It's um one of those things with uh, some cards, some particularly mirror type cards. Some glues and this I've probably got one that is much more wet so it tends to uh, to show through but uh, you get the idea and if we have to have a look at the original one you can see exactly how it should look without all the lumps and bumps from the glue so we used uh, the um, Karen Bernison 1153 the tool charms and we used 1164 the happy Father's Day um sentiment to create that have a look on our channel because i have done uh, another different card with this uh in a toolbox um and subscribe so that you get updated whenever we release new videos thank you for joining us mm -hmm.